And now you can tokenize exchanges. You can put exchanges on the blockchain like NASDAQ. Okay, that gets really interesting. Now, this tech stack's not ready. It won't be this cycle, but we'll see people using this new speed and low latency for interesting stuff, and it'll build a narrative. Next cycle, we'll see the launch of stuff on it. So that's how I think about this. This is like, we've just unleashed two superpowers and we will start to see people experimenting with it and the narrative building. Next cycle, we'll actually see projects coming out on it. Stories drive every Bitcoin bull market and can help you profit. Solana over the past year, the Solana blockchain native token has performed nicely. It rose 1,879% to $195 last month from $9.90 9 January 2023. The largest cryptocurrency by market cap fell 23.53% to $72,000 from $117,000 per coin. Even if it goes down for hours, the Solana blockchain and cryptocurrency are growing in popularity. Due to the outages, some cryptocurrency investors are less interested in Solana, but others like its fast throughput, low transaction prices, and user friendliness. This attracts developers, institutions, and users, boosting mainstream adoption. Fired Dancer? A new validation client that speeds up Solana transactions is also popular. Jump Crypto said the new validator client includes a fresh code base designed for performance. Transactions will be handled faster and the Solana blockchain platform will perform better. Since learning that Fire Dancer was evolving in 2023, rich macro expert and crypto trader Raul Powell has been optimistic about Solana. Powell claims that this new validator client has transformed Solana and the Bitcoin industry. After the successful testnet launch on October 31st, Solana hopes to launch the main net in summer 2024. The blue chip cryptocurrency might reach $2,000 by 2025, according to PAL. This video excerpts PAL's latest talk. Click like on the video. Thanks and enjoy the film. If you want more films like this, subscribe to the channel and enable post alerts. A validator of Solana, it's in testnet right now. It's basically another way of accessing the Solana network. It was built by Jump Trading, which is a high-frequency trading firm that's deep into crypto. And they built it to be fast enough for high-frequency trading. High-frequency trading is basically limited. So the game in high-frequency trading is to be the fastest with seeing the order flow and putting your orders in. That uses massive fiber optic cables of the shortest possible length because what they're using is the speed of light. So they say, well, it's impossible to do that in Ethereum or Solana or anything. So you need something that operates at a quantum change, a step change in speed. So they built a new version of Solana, which will run, which you can choose as your validator. If Solana's theoretical transactions per second is 65,000, this is theoretically... 1 million. So it's like, it's a, it's an entire game change. So what does that enable? Why am I interested in it? Because things like some of the two initiatives from Solana, one was compressed NFTs, allow you to create a million NFTs for hundred bucks. We're seeing that on layer twos as well, like base, but we're not at layer one level. Okay. Solana is a whole different game. So that makes it very cheap. So you can use NFTs for other things, not high-end art or stuff. You can use it for tickets or whatever, high-frequency stuff. Now, if you've got a chain that operates at the speed of financial markets, well, now you can tokenize exchanges. You can put exchanges on the blockchain like NASDAQ. Okay, that gets really interesting. Now, this tech stack's not ready. It won't be this cycle, but we'll see people using this new speed and low latency for interesting stuff and it'll build a narrative. Next cycle, we'll see the launch of stuff on it. So that's how I think about this. This is like, we've just unleashed two superpowers and we will start to see people experimenting with it and the narrative building. Next cycle, we'll actually see projects coming out on it. But it, it is a game changer for the entire crypto space and most people aren't aware of it yet. According to supporters of Solana, Fire Dancer could be the network's big break and it could finally live up to its reputation as an Ethereum killer. In the past few months, the idea that Solana could flip Ethereum has become more common, with a new wave of activity on the blockchain, more developers, and a lot more users thanks to Solana's meme coin. 
Maine Austin Federa, head of strategy at the Solana Foundation, says that Solana might not be able to compete with Ethereum's much bigger market cap in the short term. However, the many user-friendly apps that are being built on Solana could make that future come much sooner than most people think. Federa told Cointelegraph recently that on Solana, anyone can write an interface in almost any computer language. This doesn't mean that Ethereum won't figure it out eventually, but right now there are a lot of projects on Ethereum that want to switch to Solana. The last time we saw that was about a year and a half ago. Federa also said he was very sure that the Lions in the next year, a lot of new consumer-facing apps will be built on Solana. Let's go back to Pal's talk. That right now, the network's overwhelmed because of massive use, because of meme coins and other stuff. And we've seen this in ETH in the past as well, um, where it just gets overwhelmed with activity. So they're putting through fixes now to increase the bandwidth, essentially, the ability to deal with um, all of the transactions that need to happen. Um, I think the TPS is the, basically the speed and number of transactions without it getting clogged, but you need compute power behind it as well. So yes, we've seen Solana transactions failing right now only because of the sheer demands of the network, much like you can over overrun a broadband network or a mobile phone network. It's all the same thing. Um, and so what you need is more compute. So you need more compute, a few fixes, make things a bit faster. So it's not broken per se, it's just being tested to its limits, which I actually think is very bullish, particularly if they put a decent patch through and before you know it, it opens up the network again. You no, know, but I I would assume that if Solana's at 200-ish today, right, for it to go up 100% would be, in crypto summer, would be highly unusual. At least 300% would be pretty standard. That would be ETH all-time highs versus the previous all-time highs of that high. So that will put it 600. So let's mark that as like, that's a reasonable spot. You know, if I use a few charts and a bit of, you know, log charts, I get somewhere between 800 and 1,200. In a, in a complete bubble cycle, I think it can go above 2,000. In a short stunted cycle, 750, something like that. But it's still all to play for is the point. If Bitcoin is the gateway drug, the RAAs, everybody else, you can kind of get your dad across the line with Bitcoin. Um, you know, and you can just use digital gold or you know, store of value or something that's pretty straightforward. ETH really is the settlement layer for all of the layer twos. But also, I think a lot of the financial services industry will build on top of it because it's deemed to be the safe bet. It's like using Salesforce for your CRM and other stuff. It's like using AWS, right? It's the thing you don't get fired for. Now, I think Solana will grab part of that market because of FireDancer, which is much faster. We can talk about that later. But generally speaking, ETH is the easy choice. It's like you work for a large corporation, they'll give you Microsoft Office. ETH is Microsoft Office. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. I'm 90% Solana. That's been my big bet for this cycle. So last cycle, my bet was switching Bitcoin into ETH um, a little bit later in the cycle after the bottoming of that Bitcoin ETH cross. And that really paid off because it massively outperformed. And this cycle, I switched my ETH into Solana last year, about August, and that really, really paid off. And I think it continues. Raul Pal sees three possible outcomes for the current crypto bull market, a normal cycle, a left translated cycle, and a bubble cycle. He believes there is a 60% chance of a normal cycle, which would see crypto assets like Bitcoin and Solana make big gains, but nothing out of the ordinary. If this happens, Pal says Bitcoin will peak at $200,000 and Solana at $750. If this is a bubble cycle, which he believes there is a 20% chance of happening, Pal says the price increases will be much bigger taking Bitcoin to around $1 million and Solana to around $2,000 if the third scenario happens, which has a 20% chance of happening. Bur Asset prices will peak before the cycle's midpoint, which means the cycle will be shorter than usual. In Pal's words, it will be violent and short. Do you agree with Pal's outlook and predictions for crypto assets like Solana and Bitcoin? Please leave your thoughts and comments below. Also, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications to see more videos like this.